Alright, hello everyone, welcome to your first uh, EVE Online scanning tutorial. It's my first tutorial, so uh, bear with me. You're going to need a core probe launcher. Um, you can use the faction ones also. Um, this is your basic one with uh, four core probe launcher, or uh, four core probe, core probes. And uh, as you can see, I have eight in here, but you only need four of them for this tutorial. <coughs> What you're going to do is, uh, once you have fit on there, I can you can use any ship. I happen to be using a a, a Pilgrim, which is a Tech 2 Amar cruiser, and uh, you'll launch your first uh, core probe, and then you're going to want to hit your uh, scan button right here, which a window will pop up, and it'll look like this. You want to have your range of your first probe at 32, and you'll only use one probe for this, for your initial scan. And you'll click on your map, your toggle your map, and you'll want to make sure your probe is in the middle of the system to cover all the planets and all the items in here. And not only this way, but also make sure it's level. And then, you, sometimes the system's bigger than the one probe can handle, so you'll get multiple probes to cover that system. In this case, it's only it's a small one, and one covers it. Now, um, after you do that, you'll want to make sure it's at 32. You want to click on Analyze, and then it's going to do its warping, and <coughs> it'll start its scan. Excuse me. And hopefully, we have some signatures here we can scan down. And we do. Um, as you can see, the signal strength of this one is 0.23, and this one is 247. <clears throat> now these ones automatically come up. You get a lot of these. Um, if you get really good at scanning, it's good to uh, go to these 100% uh, signal strengths already while you're scanning for these other ones because they're really easy and uh, you have a chance of getting a faction um, at the end of it and sometimes you can even get an exploration. Uh, I think it's called an exploration. Expedition, excuse me. Now, when you uh, after you've done that scan, there's a Let's say we want to check out this one first since it's got a higher signal strength. As you can see, when you click on the button, it shows you where they're at. And this one looks like it's probably about in the middle of the system. It's kind of hard to tell. But what we'll want to do is we'll want to um, put out our four probes now. And you'll it doesn't matter exactly how you put them, but you want to put them um, in a four to where they're kind of covering each of the and I see I'm not covering this one right here. I'm kind of covering over here, so it could be over here, but I'm guessing it's in the middle somewhere. So we got such a high signal strength. And I'm not covering this one over here either. If I was, I'd put all four of them around that right there. But we're going to put them in here. And you want all the bubbles to overlap what you're looking for, if that makes any sense. Now, once I've set them up, I want to make sure they're level again. And of course, we're standing at 32 because I want to get uh, the dots. So I'll hit analyze again and let it do its warping. And notice this one started at an hour and something. If you get really good at this, it should take you around 10 minutes to track it down. Now, as you can see, this one kind of got split up. You'll run into this a lot. <clears throat> and uh, that's most likely because all the bubbles ain't covering where it's supposed to be at. So, see how we got two dots there? I'm guessing it's right here at this one. So I was wrong thinking it was at the, the middle one. So I'll move all my probes over here and make sure the arrow is on that set of planets there. And I want to be a little bit bigger. And I'm sure other people uh, do this a different way, but this is the way I do it. This worked for me. Alright, and I want to make sure it's level. And then I'm going to, since I know it's there, or at least I'm guessing it's there, I'm going to change the range to 16. And this is, I got cold hands, that's why it's taking me so long to click on these. All right, and as you can see, the bubbles are smaller, and you initially want to—you'll want to 
put this higher and bring them closer, but I wouldn't. Um, I found out that that doesn't work too well. Just keep it at how you had it, and then click Analyze. And hopefully our signal strength for that one dot gets bigger. The signal strength is bigger, and uh, the dot is where we want it to be. And it is. It's at 9 percent. As you can see, it's it is here at these planets. So now we can make this one a little bit bigger and again bring these closer. Now it's a good idea to put it on the dot like this where you have it. And this is actually sure got all the arrows on that dot. You kind of want to straighten it out towards pre level with the dot the scanning better and easier. And uh, if your skills are higher, um, then you'll pretty much have an easier time at doing this. Or if you have a, a ship that's meant for scanning, like a Tech 2 frigate, a covert ops, you can look at the description and see. Alright, so we got it level and we got it set. I'm going to um, bring the range down to 8. And then we will do our scans more. And it's doing its movement.